Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Today we are going to see about speed control of BLDC motor using H Infinity controller. So in this video we are going to see about how to implement H Infinity controller for speed control of BLDC motor. So here you can see that this is a simulation model of the BLDC motor control. Okay. It consists of uh, control to voltage source and then voltage source inverter, VLDC motor, and then we have that uh, uh, gate bolt generation based upon all sensor. And then these are the measurement of uh, VLDC motor like stator current, stator vacuum of rotor speed, electromagnetic torque. So, in order to apply a chain infinity controller, right? So first we need to find out the transfer function model of this VLDC motor. So here we, we didn't know about that transfer function model in the simulation. So we have to find out that transfer function of the VLDC motor. So we need to provide that when we need to collect the input and output data. Okay. So here you can see that I'm going to provide input for that uh, controlled voltage source. So and I'm going to collect the data here. And then uh, here we are going to control the speed of the BLDC motor. Okay, so that going to be that mean output speed of the BLDC motor going to be act as here yeah, the output of that uh, BLDC motor here. So now to get the transfer function. So here I am going to collect that the speed of the BLDC motor. Okay, so here I am going to simulate the model. For example, I am going to simulate the model for two seconds. So initially, I am going to make the uh, voltage uh, level for that uh, control voltage source is equal to 300, and then the maximum voltage I am going to fix is 500. So at the time of one second, the voltage of control voltage source change from 300 to 500. Okay, so I am going to apply, and I am going to change the time. I am going to simulate the model. So after simulation of this model, right, uh, we will get the result here. So this is the result of the speed of the BLDC motor. Okay, so that detail will be available in the workspace. So input and output. So next we need to identify the transfer function of the BLDC motor. So for that we just type ident, right? So it will be open the this window, right? So this window. This option is to identify the any system in the transfer function model. So I am going to import the data. So here you can change time domain data. Okay. So and then you can type the input data. So in so input data is in, so output data is out. Okay. And then the starting time is zero. The sample time I'm going to consider the zero point. So you have to find the sample time. So here the total number of sample is 40,000, right? So here on the total time we are taken is right um, two seconds divided by 40,000, right? So sample time is pi u power minus pi, right? So you have to fix the sample time here and then click more option and also here you can provide the data in and out. So next we go to click import. So the data will be imported here, right? So next I'm going to use that, uh, that mean I am going to remove the means, right? So I am going to use this one. Okay. So after that, I am going to estimate the transfer function. So for estimation, uh, estimating a transfer function, I am going to click the transfer function model here. And then here we need to provide so number of poles and number of zeros. Okay. 
uh, and then I am going to use this script uh, concept. So here I am going to default I am going to use number of ports equal to 1, number of zeros equal to so number of ports equal to 2, number of zeros equal to 1 and I am going to estimate the transfer function. So it automatically estimate the transfer function. So estimation process completed, just close this one and close this. And then you can uh, check the result model output. So I'm going to click model output. So here you can see that the blue color line, I think, but our identified data and then the fitness values are 93.19 percent. Okay. So now I'm going to click this one. So here we will see that the transfer function of this collected that mean for collected data of the build is motor. So this transfer function in terms of uh, discrete form. So we can get the transfer function is in S domain also. So for that you can click on second transfer function model and then use continuous function and estimate the model. Okay. That means you have to find out the transfer function model with the number of ports equal to 2, number of zeros equal to 1. Okay. So it will be finding the transfer function values. So we will wait up to completion of this process. So after completion here you will see that right. Now the estimation process completed. Now close and then here you will get the transfer function right. So this is the final transfer function of that uh, model. So this transfer function already we collect the data for different trial right. So already we did the things okay. So here this is the transfer function for that particular model for the VLDC motor we collected okay. And here we need to create the plant. So plant in order to create the plant we have to provide some disturbance input. So these are the transfer function and values used to for creating that disturbance. So based upon actual plant that when transfer function ability is motor and the disturbance input and control input. So you have to create the plant okay by using this command. So after that here we are going to apply uh, the touch infinity controller synthesis okay by using this command. So this command used to for uh, generating the controller for the a particular plant okay so after executing this one we will get the plant here so in the it will be stored in the name in k okay so after that i'm going to open that uh, that controller in this state based model and then it will be converted into transfer function models okay so this is used to for seeing that the state based model of that uh, uh, developed a controller of H infinity control. So this is a transfer function model of the H infinity controller for the particular transfer function. So here I am going to simulate this one. So finally we will get the actual transfer function that means so this is a transfer function for the H infinity controller. So this can be used in the simulating model to control the speed of the build support. Okay. Just you have to note down this transfer function here. So here I'm going to open this one. So here you can see that. So the transfer function of that uh, infinity controller, right, is included in the transfer function model, right? You have to provide the data here. That means numerated data and uh, denominated data in this transfer function block. Okay. So this will be going to act as a infinity controller for the particular system, particular BLDC motor control. Okay. So here you can you can see that. So here we are measuring the actual speed and compared with the reference speed and then process via its H infinity controller. The H infinity controller provide the control voltage to the this voltage source. So it going to be control the speed of the BLDC. Okay. So this is the in this way we are going to design. This is the way of designing a infinity controller in the MATLAB. 
So next I'm going to simulate this model and then we will check the results. So this is the input voltage, variation of input voltage with respect to change in reference speed command. And then this is, I will explain the detail clearly. So here you can see that this is changing. So this is a variation of So this input variation depends upon the reference speed command, right? So initially the set speed is, is 3000 RPM. So the, the voltage of the input side, right? DC side is around uh, 480 volt, right? So here you can see that the speed of the build is motor settled at uh, 0.2 seconds, okay? Without any overshoot. So after one second, right, the set speed or reference speed is changed from 3000 rpm to 2000 rpm. So here you can see that the speed of the build is motor is settled at uh, 1.3 seconds. Okay, after change from the one second, right? So during the change of uh, reference speed command, the voltage of the input side is changed from 480 volt, 480 volt to 380, uh, nearly 320 volt. Okay, so this is a variation of uh, the electromagnetic torque during changing of uh, speed from 3000 rpm to 2000 rpm and then here you can see that the variation of speed torque current and uh, electromagnetic force and then electromotive force and then this is line to line voltage of the build this motor okay so here you can see that uh, after designing a touch infinity controller so we are getting the smooth response that means uh, the controller easily track the uh, reference reference with command very quickly without any overshoot and undershoot okay so this is working of uh, chin, uh, chin 50 controller for uh, speed control of build okay thank you thank you for watching our videos kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming video thank you thank you so much